Good evening. He spent years in prison for murders he did not commit, then became a champion for others like him who were wrongfully convicted. Reuben, Hurricane Carter has died at the age of 76. Shauna Hunt with a career that began in the boxing ring and ended as an internationally known advocate for justice. Rube is a fighter in every aspect of the word, uh, even with his disease and, and his dying, he was fighting against that. Carter arrived in federal court in Newark sporting a full head of hair. Over the past 19 years, he's chosen to present a bald head to the world. After spending almost two decades in prison for a triple murder he didn't commit, New Jersey boxer Reuben Carter started his new life here in Toronto and became a tireless campaigner for the wrongly convicted. He eventually gets out after 20 years only by fighting the system as hard as you can fight it. And when he gets out, you'd think he might have had enough, but not at all. He then fights for others who were caught up in the same kind of situation as he was. These are pictures of, of some exonerees. He helped secure the release of dozens of innocent prisoners, including Ontario man Guy Paul Moran, who was convicted of killing a child. You couldn't imagine what it feels like to be under that kind of indictment and conviction, and then the next moment you're free. Uh, this is a lot of ground. This is the WBA's bell. John Artis, who was also arrested alongside Carter for the New Jersey murder, moved here two years ago to care for his longtime friend who was diagnosed with prostate cancer. It was basically a no-brainer. You know, I'm on my way, partner. The epitomization of loyalty to a friend. Carter lived in this High Park neighborhood for about seven years, and neighbors describe him as a kind man with a friendly smile and say they're sad to see him go. I hope that every effort you've put into your work is realized. Carter was a middleweight boxer back in the 60s and was known as a hurricane for his rapid fire combinations and punching power. Here comes the story of the hurricane. His fight for freedom was made famous by folk singer Bob Dylan and then Hollywood. 20 years spent locked up in a cage. Justice, that's all I ask. Carter and artists were found guilty. In Carter and artists were given life sentences back in 1966. Freedom came 19 years later after a federal judge finally ruled that the convictions were based on racism rather than reason. And he would never have got out of those, uh, out of the, those New Jersey prisons if he hadn't um, had a determination that, that few of us will ever have. He, we used to have conversations, and he would say, "I've done everything I wanted to, to do. I've achieved everything." I wanted to achieve. I've seen everything I wanted to see. There's nothing else on this earth that I have to do. I'm being told that Carter died here at home in his sleep early this morning, and at his request, there's no plans for a funeral service. In High Park, Shauna Hunt City News.